Experiment with Truth. A practical guide to discovering the truth within yourself. Experiment with Truth is a course which does not concern itself with one particular philosophy or religion, but which embraces all religions and philosophies. Whatever you are doing at this time, sit down and relax. Give yourself time for your experiment with truth. Experiment with truth. A course in ten parts, inspired by the techniques of Our Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. I bow to all the seekers of truth. In today's experiment with truth, we will explore the uppermost energy center of our autonomic nervous system in the limbic area of the brain, known as Sahasrara, or the crown chakra. This energy center integrates all the systems within us and is therefore our ultimate command center. All pictures, music, and sounds of nature have been carefully chosen to lift you in your own inner peace and freedom. You must only watch, listen, and feel. Before we come to the experimental part of the program, we will repeat the introduction. Now how can you experiment with truth? Truth is what it is. It cannot be changed and it cannot be conceptualized. But truth can be felt. Your own body is the instrument of truth. In every human being, energy centers are to be found on the autonomic nervous system. These centers are connected to every cell in the body through the nerves and are called chakras. The centers are a direct instrument of the truth. They reflect the destructive as well as the constructive behavior of man towards his environment and towards himself. Fear, worry, stress, anger, greed, egotism and so forth irate the nerves in the body and overload the energy centers of your autonomic nervous system. With the help of the nervous system, one can discover the reasons for a positive or negative attitude to life and the reasons why sicknesses occur. How does that work? In the sacrum bone, just below the base of the spine, resides a power. This power is known as a female or motherly primordial power. And since ancient times, it is known as Kundalini. The limbic area on top of the head integrates all the systems in the body and is therefore the principal control center for the body. Your experiment with truth starts when your kundalini rises up through the spinal column to enlighten this limbic area. When this happens, a new dimension of perception is achieved through which you learn to understand the energy flow from your body to your hands. All the nerve centers and consequently all the organs reflect their condition in the hands and on each fingertip. Through this subtle system of perception, that is the system which registers the truth about everything, you are able to discern your own mastership and what should be your right conduct towards God, mankind and nature. Whatever you will now feel is information about the true conditions of your energy centers and that is your experiment with truth. You can feel it in your hands, above your head, in your body, and in your heart. The awakening of Kundalini and man is the blossoming of the seeds which all the great incarnations have sown. Lord Krishna, Lord Rama, Lord Jesus, Lord Muhammad, Lord Confucius, Lord Lao Tse, Lord Buddha, Lord Jnanadeva, Guru Nanak, and others. Kundalini is the power which enlightens mankind. And through this, a new step in evolution is achieved. Rohit Mehta, founder of the Socialist Party of India and secretary of the International Theosophical Society, 
writes in his book, The Science of Meditation, we have seen that the brain is working at present at a low potential of 10 to 12 percent. It must be supplied with a great amount of fresh energy. It is with this energy that new centers of learning can be brought into existence in unusual areas of the brain. Without establishing such new reverberating centers in a revitalized brain, man cannot survive biologically or psychologically in this new phase of evolutionary growth. He continues to say, Faced with this situation, awakening of Kundalini seems to be the only answer. The birth of a revitalized brain due to the inflow of Kundalini energy arouses intense joy. In all living cells there exists an energy which controls their growth and development as well as their communication with the complete system. This energy is in a spiral form and growth also takes place in a spiral form. In all human beings and animals this energy exists in an uncoiled form and the task of this energy is the same as that in all the cells. But above all, it establishes the connection and communication with the all-pervading power of the cosmos. Now do your own experiment. Lay your hands out open on your lap with the palms facing upwards. While the description is being read, watch the reaction on your autonomic nervous system. When your kundalini moves, then you can feel a cool breeze on the palms of your hands, on your face, and above your head. Alternatively, you may feel the sensation directly in the body. The breeze may be sometimes warm. You may feel tingling in certain fingers. This primordial power within you is of absolute importance to your experiment with truth. It is the power of enlightenment. The primordial power, or primordial mother, was revealed to all races at different times. The Saint Jnanadeva and other seers of India called her Kundalini. In the ancient scriptures of the Vedas and the Upanishad, the writings of Markandeya and Tukaram, Kundalini is described as being the most subtle the most holy and the most mighty power of the universe. The Greeks knew that she resided in the sacrum bone at the base of the spine. Muslims invoked her as Ruach, the divine breath of life. In the Quran it is written, We believe in Allah and all that he passed down to us and what he passed down to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac and Jacob and the tribes and what was given to Moses and Jesus, and what was given to the prophets from the Lord. We make no difference between any of them, and truly we are Muslims. And we gave Jesus, the son of Mary, the clear sign, and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. Lord Buddha said that when Maitreya, the threefold mother, incarnates on earth, human beings will achieve self-knowledge. The Maoris on the Polynesian islands talk about mana, the experience of holy power that penetrates existence. The Red Indian tribes of North America refer to her as Tabu'a. It means mother and child and expresses the desire for second birth. The Atada Veda Whosoever is driven by the breath of life, he will be reborn. Kana, the Japanese goddess of compassion, shows a female figure on top of her head, representing the primordial power. The Gnostic scriptures. 
those drops which fell from the light and spirit into the chaos represent the judgment of the archigenitor and manifested their forms through the breeze as a living soul. Listen to how one of the ten great primordial masters describes this female power of the universe. Lao Tse. A being there is. Inconceivable and complete. It existed before heaven and earth. So silent, so formless, alone it persists. It is unchanging. All pervading it is, without danger. One can call it the mother of the universe. I know not its name. I call it Tao. We will, in this program, call this primordial power Kundalini. Translated, this means born with you. And she waits for her awakening in the sacrum bone, where she rests in three and a half coils. When the residing Kundalini within you flows through all your energy centers and enlightens the limbic area, then she releases a stream of joy which overflows into all the channels of the body. You are then in a state of blissful happiness in which your whole body becomes one in perfect harmony. In this state, you are filled with a great love and are one with the universal ocean of consciousness. Wolfgang Bernhard, author of the book Jnanadeva, describes how this great saint experienced self-realization or enlightenment. Janadeva describes for the first time the inner primordial mother, Kundalini. This pure force of Kundalini frees all parts of the body from disease. Joint by joint, she enlightens the various regions of the body. Externally, the body appears as clean and pure as the body of a child. But the power of that force within is beyond description. Once every cell has been enlightened, the Kundalini again permeates the whole being and fills it with divine power. At the same time, she absorbs all the forces of the body into herself, and only she, the primordial force of life, remains. Youth and age cease to exist, and the pure state, existing beyond time, is born in their place. Meditate on your pure desire for enlightenment and surrender to the songs of Mother Nature. The music and pictures have been chosen to sweetly lift you. You are timeless. You know no future or past. You are here and now. When you are one with these images of nature, you are in the present moment. Dr. Umesh C. Rai, visiting professor at the Institutes of Brain and Heart Research in Oxford, London and New Delhi, proves in his book, Medical Science Enlightened, that Kundalini awakening, as practiced by Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi, has these new revitalizing effects, not only for the brain and the body, but also for the whole environment. The state of self-realization which begins through Kundalini awakening was described by the great Guru Nanak as Sahaja Samadhi, 
Her Holiness Shri Mataji calls it Sahaja Yoga. On the 5th of May, 1970, Her Holiness Shri Mataji Nirmala Devi opened the topmost energy center, the Sahasrara Chakra, on a collective level. She has developed a gentle method by which Kundalini could be awakened through her love. Through Kundalini awakening, it has become possible for all those seeking the truth to experience this all-pervading power of the universe and to communicate and share this joy with others. Now the central power is the Kundalini. That has to rise and penetrate through different chakras, enter into the limbic area and enlighten the seven pithas, seats of the seven chakras, which are placed along the midline of the limbic area. So all these six centers are combining to make the seven centers. This is a very important point which we should come Now the essence of Sahasrara is integration. In Sahasrara all the chakras are there so all the deities get integrated. And you can feel that integration. That means when you get your Kundalini in Sahasrara, your mental, emotional and your spiritual, everything being becomes one your physical being also merges with Then you have no problem. The Devi Mahatmyam towards the mother of the universe, your face resembling the moon, giving out cool rays. First it is integrated with, as I said, then when it gets absolutely integrated with the Spirit, then whatever you say is the truth. When the enlightenment of the Kundalini takes place in the brain, then truth is perceived through your brain. That's why it's called as Satya Khandi, means you start seeing the truth perceived by your brain. Because so far, Whatever you see through your brain is not the truth. What you see is just the outer side. But you cannot make whether a person is real or not, whether a guru is real or not. Because divinity cannot be perceived through your brain. Unless and until the light of your spirit shines into it. It's impossible for you to judge a person about his divinity unless and until the Kundalini reaches at least this part which is the limbic area. Gnostic scriptures. These things happen through the will of the mother, the Sophia, so that he, the immortal human, 
were put into order the veils which had been there, and they welcomed the breeze of that breath. The mother said, And so I came here, that they should become connected with that spirit and that breeze, that they should become both united as from the very beginning, so that they may reap a rich harvest and ascend to the one who has existed from the very beginning in inexpressible joy. Recognize. Recognition is the only worship where you want to know God in search. All the other ganas, devta, deity, shakti, are one in unijan in search of God. Once you have recognized, gradually you will do everything that has to be done. You will know what is to be done. Lao the valley spirit never dies. It is the feminine, primal mother. Her gateway is the root of heaven and earth. It is like a veil barely seen. Use it. It will never fail. your city. You don't know how much God looks after you. God protects you out and out and He looks after you with complete attention and care. And He's so loving that description of His compassion cannot be given in words but can be only felt and understood. In the God's kingdom it's so blissful, absolutely blissful. Complete blessings are poured on, absolutely, with everything, health, wealth, mental, emotional, all kinds of prosperity you can get in search of, no doubt. So opening of the Sahasrara is very important. During this journey towards truth, if you have felt a coolness from your hands or head, if you are aware yet without thought, then you will find yourself in reality. However, if you still do not feel that you are an integral part of the all-pervading power, then you may have felt some tingling or heat on certain parts of your hands. That indicates obstructions within your subtle system. Proceed with your experiment with truth and you will again witness how your own Kundalini informs you about your actual state of being. Please join us again in the next edition of Experiments with Truth when we shall repeat once more this important exercise of raising the Kundalini. <laughs>